Hello everybody, this is Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to Adobe Photoshop Elements. And here we are in Photoshop Elements looking at the cool text and titling tools. In most cases, when you do standard titling, you select the T or the little letter here on the toolbar on the left. And then using the tool options, usually you're typing left to right, sometimes up and down. That option is here too. But there are a couple of other tools that you may not use very often, or options on the tool options panel that you may not use very often. For instance, if I select the text here and I go over here to the right, I have the option to warp the text in different shapes. And if I click on this button here, I can select different shapes for the text, an arc, for instance, an upper arc, a bulge look, a squeeze look, and then of course you can make some customizations to those different shapes to shape your letters and shape your title any way you want. But there are a couple of other tools you may not have been aware of, including the options to type on a line or to even follow a shape. Now the very last option here on the tool options panel is text on a custom path. And if you select it, you'll have the option to draw a line and it's a freehand draw. So I'm just going to drag the pencil across here. There's our line. And if I click the green check mark, that locks it in. And I can change the shape of that line by clicking on the modify option button. And that gives me these little dots that I can use to shape the line and even little bezier handles for creating curves and shapes on that line. Once the line's corrected and committed, our tool becomes, as I hover it over the line, can you see there is my text creator and I can click on any point on the line and I can type on the line, right? It's actually longer than the line. That's why my text didn't show. Let me select it all here and we'll make it into a more manageable font, say 30, there it is on the line and it follows the shape of the line. So let's get rid of that for now. One of the other text options you have is to type onto a shape. And if I select that option on the tool options bar, I can select some basic shapes. For instance, an oval, if I hold down the shift key, that becomes a circle. And now when I hover over a certain spot, once again, I get that text option tool. See it? Once I see that icon there, I can type, select and type the word circle, for instance, and it will follow that shape. So another option. One final option is the option to actually follow the shape of a selection. So if I select that option and I go to say a photo of this car, for instance, and make a selection just by, I'm going to use the polygon lasso so I can create dot to dot to dot to dot. There's the shape of my selection. Now, depending on the resolution of this picture, that's going to affect uh, how large my font is. Let's find out how large it is actually. So with the text selected and with that option on the toolbar selected, I can click on any point here on my selection. Actually, I have to click to lock in the selection. There it is. And then click that check mark. Then I will get that option tool. There's that text option tool again and I can type, it's going to be very small here. So I'm going to make it much larger. Let's make it more like about 200 points for this particular picture. All depends on resolution, right? And type in dad's new car. We'll change that font. I just selected all with control A and we'll change the color of it to something brighter that shows up yellow. And there is text that follows the shape of a selection. So there are different things you can do to your text to not only change the shape of the text itself, but to actually follow certain lines you draw. There's unlimited options when it comes to creating text or creating titles for your slides or your photos. Now, if you want to know more about the options for creating shapes and creating text on shapes, you want to check out the many tips and tutorials we have at moviepix.com. And if you want to know everything about Photoshop elements, be sure to check out the moviepix.com guide to Adobe Photoshop elements. I'm the guy who wrote the book and you can find it on amazon.com. My name's Steve and I'll see you soon.